That's not the question. That's not the qu- Oh, yeah. That is the question. Okay. Hey, listen, you love the fans. Uh, we love our fans. <laughs> so I don't think the, I don't think you can skirt around this question, bro. Man, this is tough. Lazy Boy offering a custom priced package of any sofa set up to a value of 5,000 pounds. The lucky winner will be contacted by Lazy Boy and they will get their own personal shopper to guide you through. To answer, simply pop over to the Lazy Boy UK Instagram page and look out for this and other great promotions. This competition runs to the 3rd of January, 2023. Good luck. All right, happy holidays and season greetings from Snow Sea oh, and Sleigh Bell. Oh my God. You like that? Snow Sea and Sleigh Bell. It's kind of cute. But you like that? Yeah, it's kind of cute, but. Yeah. Snow Sea and Sleigh Bell. Yeah. You know what's cute? Yeah, tell me. I was looking at Instagram mm. on your wife's page. Yeah. <laughs> of what your you son. talking about? Yeah. That was cute. <laughs> He's a funny, funny guy. That. I watched it twice. Yeah. Hilarious. He's hilarious. That's cute. He's funny. <laughs> but we asked for your questions and you guys delivered. Mm. We've not read them yet. This is true. This is true. Simon is just passed us the questions. It's a fact. So I don't know what's going to happen, but let's get this party started. Mm. And Simon has written, I am first. Okay. This is Ask As usual. Snow Sea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, this, is, this is a very good question from Jamie. Mm, okay. I would absolutely ask OC this. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Good question. Ooh, favorite Christmas movie. What's his name is in it? The guy who was dating Elizabeth Hurley. Hugh Grant. Love Actually. That's the one. Love Actually. <laughs> Love Actually. Good, 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 good one. Love Actually. I would That's have your to say Christmas that movie. is my favorite Christmas movie. I'll stand. I love Love Actually. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's a good I film. I remember that. Good film. Okay. You, you, you feeling that? Yeah, I am. Okay. I didn't expect that, though. Yeah, Love Actually. What were you expecting? I was going to say maybe like a Friday After Next or one. No. <laughs> 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 I thought you would say something like, I would say my favorite Christmas movie is Die Hard. Die Hard, okay. Yeah. But there's a whole debate. It's there in Christmas, but yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah. Or, or The Grinch. Oh, The Grinch stole the Christmas. Grinch, the Grinch. I got you. Yeah. The Grinch, yeah, yeah. I like that. No, those are good. Yeah. Those are really good. Yeah. But Love Actually to I me went, is just the, a yeah, really that's good, good. good film. That's a good film, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah I nice. like that. They knew to ask you that. Okay. okay. Good job, Jamie. This one is for Sleigh Bell. Sleigh Bell. Slay, I actually like Sleigh Bell. Uh, like, because, you know, that could have a bunch of different meanings, especially mm-hmm. in America. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like Sleigh Bell. You're like Sleigh, Sleigh. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Slay. You know what I mean? Just a little ski ski. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is from Dave. Which current player would you most like to invite over for dinner? Oh, Joe Burrow. That's great. 100%. Yeah. And who would you not like to invite over for dinner? Oh, that's easy. Mm. Current, say it? There's a current player. Do I even say it? Is it Deshaun Watson. Oh, yeah. I hear you. That's a, that's a good answer. That's who I wouldn't want to say. I hear you. That yeah, in a yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, it's on yeah. you now. Okay. It's on you. Those, yeah. are, those are two good answers. I mean, it just, you know. Yeah. Ask Snowski. Ask was Snowski. Ask OC. Okay. <laughs> Was the guy that started a fight and then called the police at five aside ever seen or heard from again? Oh my! <laughs> I have not this seen is, that guy. I don't know who this is from, That's but good a one. Great question. It is. Haven't seen him you since. Haven't seen him. Haven't seen him since, man. <laughs> haven't seen him since. <laughs> Bro, one of one of the funny one of my all-time favorite moments man that was the funniest thing i'd ever seen in quick my life. summary quick yeah. summary of it the guy bust it out the guy for people that don't know playing five aside yep <laughs> he was challenging you know yeah he was trying to be a tough guy yeah. but challenged one guy and the guy decided to <laughs> give him that work <laughs> The guy went to the sideline, picked up his phone, and I'm thinking he's calling, you know, them dudes. Calling his boys. Dude, calling the police. Bro. <laughs> it's like, yo. You started, you started it. it. You started it. You can't start it. this and then call the police. Never since we seen it. Oh, again. my God. Oh, Incredible. I just want people that didn't know that story. Incredible. You came in here. Oh, that was funny. Mm, okay. 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 
This one comes from Mark Batten. Okay, Mark. Mark Batten. The Batten. If OBJ at 30 is such a prized asset, why hasn't he been offered a head-turning contract? The knee and the age. I mm. mean, you said two things. First of all, they don't know where the knee is. Mm. And when you're paying in the NFL, you're paying for future production. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, you're paying for what you are going to give me in the future, right, OC? Mm-hmm. A person who has had big contracts. Mm. They don't pay you because you just balled. They yeah. pay you because you're gonna continue to ball. Yeah. That's the question. We know receivers usually kind of fall off around 30, 31. Mm-hmm. They, they just do. He could be different, but that, that's the major reason. Yeah. I mean, you're hiring him for right now. Yeah. And what are you gonna pay for right now? Mm-hmm. But he wants to be paid for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's true. I, I heard somebody, I think it's Art, Art Stapleton, who's one of the writers in New York, he was like, he has never seen a, a guy who, like this, right, mm-hmm. is gathering this much fanfare and excitement. Like, he's, like if you look at the yeah. actual numbers, yeah. and you, you'd be like, oh. But it's what it's what he represents off the field. Exactly, I think, that, he, that's doing. This. He gives you hope. He sells tickets. Yeah, and we love this game. We just talked. We we've talked on a previous podcast about fans and stuff. Mm. Like he's he sells tickets. Yep. he was perfect for L.A. Mm. Perfect for New York. New York. Perfect for Dallas. Mm. People want to come to see him play. Yep, makes sense. Sarah, O.C. Okay. Sarah, 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 ask you this: Were you? <laughs> Were you friends with Jason when you were both on the Giants? Be honest, O.C., did you even know he was a teammate? Sarah, okay. that's good. Okay. I know this answer, okay. but Sarah, that is that is that is cool. So the the truth is, <laughs> the truth is Jason is the type of guy that you you he can't be in the locker room and you won't be at least his friend. Like it's it just doesn't it doesn't work like that, right? That's just how, especially back then. Yeah, he, he was he's that guy. But then it was only after me and my man Sam Madison uh-huh. were at home. We're injured, both of us injured. We're at home uh, eating pizza, <laughs> drinking beer. Uh huh. Watching Jason play against Tennessee, was yeah, Tennessee, Tennessee, yeah. Tennessee, because we didn't have you out there, and yeah. it was it we'll was play. different. Yeah. <laughs> so we're watching Jason, and me and Sam, we kept looking at each other. We're like, "Yo, Jason's a baller, man!" <laughs> right? <laughs> like Jason's a baller. And every time he every time he would make a play, he would do this right here. <laughs> <laughs> right? So so we come in. I think it was uh, Monday, and the first thing I say to Jason is, "J Bell." <laughs> <laughs> That's when I would say we became like That's when we, much yeah, better friends. We were boys then. Every time I see him, I saw Jay, Jay Bell. Bell. <laughs> and then I went to LA, yep. hung out with Jason. That was yeah, it. They, we, we became friends. We were locked like in. 2006, then. maybe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was it's six. Been about yeah, it was super. 16 years. Yeah, yeah. Almost 17 years. Yeah. That's crazy. I think that's true. 17 I know. years, bro? But it is funny because I could watch you ball and yeah. you were OC, right? And everybody wanted to be your friend. But you you know, you're selective, you do your thing, but you got a chance to kinda you know we respect each other off the field, but mm. when you respect each other on, on the field, it's, diff- it's different. It, it changes the off the field relationship. Yeah, Cause you're different. like, Oh, he's tough or he's this. And it was easy to see that with you, but yeah, you're right. It was yeah. it was y'all but, having the respect of like guys like you, Sam, yeah, Stray, A P, mm. Carlos, like that. Mm. The, th- the thing, the thing about me specifically is um, in the secondary, right? Even okay, they say Corey is a good, really good corn. Yeah. Like I didn't really know because yeah. I never watched. You couldn't see it. Yeah, I couldn't see it. Yeah. So only when I'm sitting at home, you're like, oh, yeah, and like, oh, okay. Yeah. Then, then I could see they it. But back there trying <laughs> balling, but you're you're so fo- as a defensive lineman, you're so focused on just the lines yeah. that you couldn't see anything that was going on back there. That's so true. So now I know that is true. All right. Thank goodness for that game. We I might not be here. <laughs> Jeez. This is from Sexy Dude. Okay. All right. Sexy Dude. Hey, everybody, That's all right. everybody, you know, Sexy Dexy, Sexy yeah. Dude. We can dig it. Yeah. Ask J. Bell, Slay Bell. If you are the Giants, do you keep Daniel Jones or do you draft a rookie? What's their pick? Nobody knows yet, yeah. but it's not going to be good. It's going to be a low first a round low. pick. Yeah. Because yeah. they have 90% chance of making the playoffs now. It's gonna gonna be in the bottom half of the right. Yeah, um, I think you ha- roll with Daniel Jones at mm. least another year. Yep, because 
have you really seen what he's capable of doing? Yep. No. Nope. I mean, th- they're I out there balling with nothing. <laughs> nothing. Bare cupboard. Right. Yeah. And we, we give all these other quarterbacks excuses. Mm. Let him give him another chance. And as we're seeing with Zach Wilson from the Jets, it takes a certain person to be a quarterback in New York. Yep. No one can argue Daniel Jones does not – he has the demeanor mm-hmm. to be a quarterback in New York. Yep. Right? I agree. As you know. This I agree everybody. with you. Fitzroller. Fitzroller. I know that yep, name. Yep, yep. Fitzroller's yeah. a, a good – Yeah. Always throwing stuff at us. Yeah. Shout out to Fitzroller. Ask O.C. What was your childhood like? Mm. It's really – it's a good question. Primary school, enviros, environment, mm-hmm. military rule. How was that? I, I would say that it was – my childhood was incredible. <laughs> I can't even lie. You know, from being born here and then going to um, going to Nigeria, uh, I was in Nigeria from ages of seven to fourteen, and we were under military military rule. But the thing about military rule was everything was so like the concerns that we have now. We didn't have those concerns under military rule. Like it, the country was relatively safe. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I think we were talking about this. I, I'd just go outside. I'd be walking outside. And there was no real fear of, you would hear about, you know, there was one famous arm rubber in Nigeria. Like, one. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I mean? That's why they were famous. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just literally one that wow. people knew. They were like, okay, this is the, this guy's that They caught him and you don't even want to know what they did to oh, him, yeah. right? So it, it was a difference. Right. And you're so young, you don't really understand the dynamics of military. You don't understand yeah. any of that. So you're just going around. And it, 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 was, it was a really good childhood. Oh, but man. I was lucky enough to have been born into, like my dad, you know, yeah. we, we, we're okay. So it was... He was a king. I had 13 brothers and sisters, you know. All your cousins. It it, 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 it it was fantastic. It really was. I can't even lie. You always talk about being at your grandmother's house yeah. and that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, like okay, we. my grandmother lived maybe, I would say, maybe a 10-minute walk from my father's house, uh-huh. right? My father had a palace, mm-hmm. a literal palace. We would all leave my father's palace to go sleep in my grandmother's <laughs> house. And she just had like, a, it wasn't even, it was just like a regular, it'd be like 90 of us. And we'd be sleeping on the floor. She'd wake up. She had this big, massive pot where she'd be cooking like the rice and uh. you see her staring it. And we just, uh, it, 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 it was fantastic, man. That's crazy you talk yeah. about that compared to all the other stuff you could have seen in the palace. You wanted to be at your Yeah, we wanted house. to be there. Yeah. We'd wake up at like six, you hear the chickens. You wake up, you're like, ah, and then it's from from that moment <laughs> until nighttime. Go time. Go time. Just all over the place. It, 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 it was really dope. That was really good. dope. That was good. Okay. Was it- another one for Slay Bell. This is Dave Tomley. <clears throat> If you could move one player from any team to another team in order to make that team Super Bowl winners, who would you move? Whoa. Okay. One player from one team to another team. Yep. Super Bowl winners. Um, This is tough, man. Let me think. Um, what if you took... Oh, see, help me out. So mm. who has, oh, gosh. Mm. Oh, man. Okay. All right. What if you Speak took Lamar one. Jackson mm. and you put him in Denver? Mm. That is. With that defense. That is one of the more interesting things I think I've heard. What if you. I, yeah. He's got a couple receivers. He's got receivers. Uh, yeah. That you know, yeah, and that playing style and that, yeah, that would be crazy. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. No, that would be. Crazy. I mean, the A only because the AFC West, we 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 hyped it up yeah. as this whole like, oh my goodness, the quarterbacks. What if you yeah, did that? That would be crazy. Yeah. I agree. That yeah. would be crazy. Yeah, that's interesting. All right, Allen Thompson, OC. Mm. I know it's only been a few years, but how would you both get on in today's NFL? Was it harder in your air? definitely harder in our era but I think everybody says that yeah. right everybody says it was different harder game. in our era it's a different game we hit more it was yeah. more physical yeah but I think you know my skill sets you know as a pass rusher 
um, and the lack of quality. There's maybe like two or three like really good offensive tackles in, in football now. The lack of quality offensive tackles. I think, and the way they're throwing the ball now, yeah. I, th- I think I think I would. You would dominate. Well. Yeah, I think I would done pretty. They well. have found players like you that mm. attack the ball. Yeah, everything's about the ball, yeah. and that's what you did. Yeah. You know, so you you would you would completely dominate. Yeah, I think that would have been good. Yeah. You'd, okay. You'd be Big balling. bad ding, asked Slay Bell, what happened with the Giants when you were on the team when OC won number one? I was there. I was on injured reserve. I was on the team. I watched them play. I was around. Mm. I, f- I was I felt like I was there. Mm. Yeah, she basically like Kareem Benzema did. I don't even know what that. Oh yeah 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 Kareem yeah. Benzema. Yeah, yeah yeah. So it you know, was the president invited him to the game. Yeah. He was just like mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. It was it was I was around though that year. What's funny is they lost a couple of games when I was standing on the sideline, and all of a sudden they put me up yeah. in the booth in this. <laughs> I remember when Coughlin did that, and people were like, "Why are you doing?" <laughs> He's just so so superstitious. I, I I literally couldn't come on the field, yeah. and they're like, "Oh, we'll put you up." And and it was like, I remember AP be like, "Man, we were losing games with you on the oh, side." Yeah. <laughs> he's, very, he's so superstitious. That's a coffin special. Right I know. There. Dave Wheatley. Why are the Raiders so bad this season? <laughs> OC. Yeah, that's to you. Um, to be honest, I think this that this is one of the. It's one of the things that defies explanation, yeah. right? Because you look at them, if you look at the players they have offensively, right? <laughs> you're like, okay, this team, you yeah. know, Adams is balling, right? Yeah. Um, if you look at them defensively. They got problems. Yeah. yeah. But then you think that Crosby, Chandler Jones. They ain't showed up, though. Crosby has, Chandler not so much. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, this past one game. of us yeah. has. <laughs> yeah. To the earlier question about yeah. paying for production. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, so I, I – as an expert, yeah, I find defensively they're not as good as you would have hoped, yeah, and that's the only thing. But that's still no excuse for them being no. as bad as they are right now. Doesn't make any sense. I think you don't panic on Josh McDaniels and what they're doing though. Yeah, I think they'll be, you know. But yeah, they don't. They need more talent on defense. You're right. <laughs> Josh from Yorkshire, uprise. uprise okay, I like that. I do too. OC story last summer about his wife giving birth in Paris was hilarious. Funny, it was funny. Crazy. My question. Thoughts on natural grass versus turf. Did you hate turf fields or didn't you care? I'm not sure how that correlated, but that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I like it, though, because yeah, it was fine. one of the greatest stories in, yeah. in the history of storytelling. Yeah, yeah. but I appreciate, I appreciate the fact that he even knew the story. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, grass, as a player, you always prefer. Mm. It's better. On, it feels better. Mm-hmm. It just feels better. The only time you don't like grass mm. If it's really bad grass, yeah, and the footing's grass. bad, yeah, you know, if you play somewhere and it's like it would be terrible and slipping and all that, you mm. you'd want turf. Mm-hmm. But you felt better, and you, I, I think you'd probably maybe say the same thing after mm. a grass game on your joints. I would agree, I would agree. But as a pass rushing defensive end, oh, you wanted that speed. I prefer turf. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, I wanted you to put worse in your joints. I wanted the guy to be slower. Yeah, you know, I didn't want a guy to be flying. Yeah, like fast guys, a lot of them can't stop fast mm. or take. You know, it's just it's hard. Mm. So I want the footing to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but on turf, like for me, you get that good grip, yeah. and then you just boom, you oh, just yeah. getting off. So the, linemen, <laughs> yeah. the linemen are like, I don't want this. I wanted, I wanted to be on because of the type of play I was. There are a lot of linemen that like grass and they yeah. want to, mm, but I wanted to be flying off that edge. So, yeah, yeah. I prefer turf. Yeah, no, yep. I didn't mean, yeah, think about it. Stuart Pates, mm. right? Stuart, what do the Browns need to become successful when the division let win the division, let alone a Super Bowl? Mm. I think that, okay, they have a good running game. They have uh, good defensive players. Mm-hmm. They have a good offensive line, pretty good receivers. They they got it all actually. They just need maybe I don't know. I, man, I think it's hard. Man, you got yeah. you got the quarterback situation. How's that gonna work? Yeah. How's that gonna gel together? Right, big question mark. Yeah, how's it gonna all work out? Yeah, but if 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 you know all the put aside you know the 
yeah. off the field stuff. I'm just right? saying the distraction yeah. of it all. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you put that aside and then he can get back to the quarterback that he was. Dangerous. Yeah, yeah that's that's a tough team. To, tough yeah. team to beat. They'll be a tough team to yeah. beat. I think that's all they need. He just needs to play. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> True. Clara asks, Jason, love you. Oh. Love you. All right, Clara. And I love the pod. Thanks, Clara. Are you how do I put this uh are you seeing anyone? <laughs> That's not the question. That's not the qu- Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is the question. Hey, listen, you love the fans. Uh, we love our fans. <laughs> so I don't, think the, I don't think you can skirt around this question, bro. Man, this is tough. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing an eight-year-old go mm. to school every single day. Mm. That's a great answer. That's what I, that's yeah. what I am a fan. I am. You're at super, least doing that. I'm super dad. Yeah. That's 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 what I'm doing. That's yeah. what I got time for yeah. on these streets. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Merit asks. You see how quick I got out of that? Mm-hmm. Mer- that's good. <laughs> Merit asks, Osi, can you ask Osi if he's a single gentleman who wants to go on a date? Have you, I don't think, have they ever watched the pod, listened to the podcast? Or a show? Yeah, I'm not sure they have. I, I don't. Yeah. yeah. Um, the answer to that question is no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, 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 no. Nah, 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 nah. I think that's it, Jayvo. Not even close. Yeah. That was fun, OC. Yeah, that was nice. fun. We should do this again. We should do that more often. Yeah, Merry Christmas to everyone. And we'll do this again. Simon has to just get all the questions in. And he's good for that. So... If uh, if y'all want us to do this again, just ask. Yeah, we'll just make it happen. Yeah. Shout out to everyone. Thank you for all the listeners. Uprise all day. We don't play. Snowsy and Sleigh Bell. Yes, sir. Holla at you. Lazy boy.